So good morning everybody, welcome for our lesson today and we are still under our vision that is a physical environment. Today we are going to look at the physical features. So physical features, uh, they are natural, natural uh, landforms on the earth surface. So the natural landforms on the other surface, they are called physical features. So that's what you call physical features. They are natural, they are just found by themselves. Or Then uh, they are divided into two. So uh, we have A, what you call uh, relief features. Uh, relief features. Then number two, we have what you call uh, drainage features. Drainage. Drainage means water. Yeah. So these are uh, what you call uh, relief, fe uh, re uh, relief features. They are divided into two. Uh, physical features are divided into two. We have relief features and then we have drainage features. So relief features include mountains, mountains, then we have plains, then we have plateaus, then we have also uh, plain plateaus, and then we have uh, yeah, mountain plain plateaus, and then we have hills, highlands, and so on. So these are what you call uh, relief features. Then we have uh, drainage features include rivers. As I said initially, really, uh, drainage means water. So rivers, we have lakes. Then we have ocean. We have seas. Like you have Mediterranean Sea. We have also the Red Sea, Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and so on. Then we have, uh, uh, yeah, so drainage. And then we have also the swamps, swamps. So that it is. So these are the division of the relief features. So maybe we shall look one by one across the uh, syllabus. We shall start with the mountains. Uh, mountains. Uh, so we have mountains. Uh, mountains are uh, areas raised to about two thousand meters above the sea level. So mountain are areas raised above 2,000, 2000 meters above the sea level. And then we can call it a mountain. So we have very many mountains in Africa, types of mountains and so on. Uh, we have, um, maybe when we start with the Kenya, we have Mount Kenya in Kenya, Mount uh, Elgon, that's on the border of Kenya and the Uganda. We have Mount Longonot and very many others that are found in Kenya. Talk about Mount Meru uh, in Tanzania. Then we have also Ahak Mountain in Algeria. We have the city in, uh, in Chad. We have Longonot in Kenya. We have Mufumbiro in Uganda. Oldonyo in Tanzania. Moroto, Uganda. We have also Mohovura in Uganda. And then we have Ngorongoro in Uganda. Then we have even Atlas Mountain in Morocco. Talk about Cape Ranges in South Africa. Then we have also even the Tepo Mountain in South Africa and Dragonsback Mountain also found in South Africa. So we shall start the types of mountain. Uh, types of mountains. 
So we have what we call volcanic mountain, volcanic, and the volcanic mountain, uh, if I may draw, is something like this. This is what we call volcanic mountain. Here we have molten molten material. We call it molten we call it magma. So magma is here. It's molten, it's like porridge. Then it's very hot here. Then uh, here we have what we call uh, subsidiary diary cone. So then we have what this one is called vent the main pipe vent uh, and then this one is called dike like that so that is a uh, volcanic mountain uh, and maybe briefly to explain how it is formed so volcanic mountain is formed when in this uh, we have called it this one is molten magma it is in liquid form and very thick and also very hot so during eruption it erupts then uh, magma is when it's still under the surface but when this magma comes on the ground it flows like this so this is magma has erupted here this is magma so when it comes to flow on the ground it becomes solid this magma becomes solid outside so when it has reached on the ground we call it uh, lava so this is now lava so this is the formation of uh, volcanic mountain so maybe you can look at the example of volcanic mountain in africa so i will generalize so we have mount kilimanjaro so we have kilimanjaro kilimanjaro is the, the highest mountain in africa it's found in the in tanzania near the border of kenya highest uh, this one is found in tanzania so Tanzania, you'll find this Mount Kilimanjaro. Then we have also Mount Kenya. Kenya. Mount Kenya is also a volcanic mountain. We have Mount Elgon. Long Knot. And very many others. So Mount Marsabit. So these are examples of volcanic mountain. This is the picture of how it is formed. This year, so those are uh, uh, example of a volcanic mountain. Then uh, we have also another type of mountains. We have also what we call a uh, fold mountain. Fold, fold mountain. I just start to be formed like this. Fold mountain. So these are rocks. This one, there are rocks under the surface. So these are now the formation of fold mountain. So we have forces from this direction, this one. So these are forces They are here. We have also from this direction another force. Force also applied from this direction. Now after folding of this mountain, folding is now bending. So it becomes something like this. So it forms something like this. 
or like this like this so it forms this is now a fold mountain fold mountain is here and then uh, this raised part we call it anticline anticline and then this one is called single line so this is how fold mountain is formed so this is a fold mountain example of fold mountain in africa example istanbul we have atlas mountain atlas is found in morocco north africa so we have atlas mountain in morocco uh, and then we have another one called uh cape cape range cape range is found in south africa and then we have what you call also uh dragon's back dragon's back is also found in south africa then we have another one called table mountain table mountain is also found in south africa south africa like this so that is those are four mountains in africa uh, maybe if you can locate them on a map of africa so this is just a sketch of africa So here, uh, Morocco is found somewhere here. So Atlas Mountain is, fa is found here. So this is Atlas Mountain found here. It's a fold mountain. Uh, and then Cape Range is found here. This one is called Cape, Cape uh, Range. Mountain is found in South Africa. It's a major tourist attraction. Then we have Dragon's Back Mountain is found here. So this one is called uh, uh, Dragon's Back Mountain. It's found in South Africa. So you may look at the location and so on. Then we have another one, uh, Table Mountain. Uh, which we have added here. So these are what you call the fold mountains in Africa. And you have looked at the process of formation and so on. Um, Another one, we have what you call a uh, block mountain. Block. Block mountain is also called host mountain. Block mountain or host mountain. Now, this one is formed through a uh, process of formation is called process of formation uh, is faulting. Faulting and uplifting. Fighting and uplifting is the process of formation. So it normally appears like this.
So, so it is here. This is what you call block mountain. Then here, these are called faults. These are lines. Faults are, are what you call the cracks. So this one is formed when the, we have also forces from this direction, like this. Then also we have another force here, so that it pushes some material. This um, rocks above the ground. That's why I have said it's formed through faulting and uplifting. So this is what you call uplifting. So it pushes these rocks up, so they form something like this. So this is what you call fault. These are just uh, rocks, uh, sediment of rocks, and so on. And then here we have cracks of lines because of the forces acting here. So the one we call the faults. So we have an example. These are uh, example block mountain in Africa. We have Mount, uh, Mount Ruwenzori, Ruwenzori, Pare, Usambara, Usambara, Usambara. Then we have Dunkill, Dunkill Alps. This one is found in Ethiopia. And then we have Mau Ranges in Kenya, Mau Ranges. And then we have what you call Abadea Range. Abadea Range. So, Abadea Ranges. So, Ruwenzori, Pare, Sambara, Tanagil Alps, Mau Ranges, Abadea Range. So, these are examples of fold mountains in Africa, uh, sorry, block mountains in Africa. And most of these, they are just found in East Africa. Uh, you'll find them. And then we say this one is a snow kept mountain. Uh, this one is snow. That's snow. This one is found on the border of Uganda and DRC Congo. So when you locate on your atlas, you can find it. So that it is. Another mountain, we have what we call uh, residual mountains. Residual. Residual means remains. So, uh, residual mountains, if I may draw, it's like this, something like this. So this is hard resistant rock. Then this one, these are soft materials. Soft materials. Now, this is a hard rock. This one is a very hard rock, is here. And then these are uh, soft materials. Now, this mountain, they are formed through what you call erosion. So, after some times, you'll find that now, these soft materials, this one, they will be eroded away, they will be carried away. And then what is left behind, this hard rock, it forms what you call now residual mountain. For example, if I may draw something like this, um, here, then
So we said these are soft materials like this, like this. Now there are soft materials and then this we say this a hard rock, very hard and resistant rock. So after this material has been eroded away, now we remain with this rock, this one now. So this one forms what you call a residual mountain, residual mountain in Africa. So example, we have what you call Homboli, Homboli mountain, then we have Namuli. So you will find them. One of them is found in Mozambique, another one is found in Mali. So these are examples of residual mountains uh, in Africa. Then we have said in the plateau, we say that uh, we have in the plateau, plateau, we have small uh, hills that uh, have resisted erosion. They are called inselbacks. And we said inselbacks are example of a residual mountain. Because we said a plateau is an almost flat land, so this is a plateau. This is a plateau, you can see the, it's almost flat. So you'll find some small hills like this one. So this one. So small hills like this ones are the one we call. So this one and this, they are called insel bucks. Small hills in the plateau that have resisted erosion, we call them insel bucks and they are example of residual mountains. So that is uh, about residual mountains in Africa. So thank you for our lesson today.